what is going on everybody how's it going today today we're gonna build a little uh lean to for the front of the goat shelter because guess what we're expecting rain and snow so that's what we're gonna do keep them dry hey if you're new to the channel be sure to like and subscribe i got a lot of great content and it's never a dull moment trust me what's up guys how's it going Oh, look at that. They are using their house, y'all. What's up, mama? What you doing, girl? Hey, I was just letting you guys know that there's some, uh, there's some cold weather coming, so I'm glad to see that you guys are using the house now. And it's going to be a little snowy. But I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to build yourself a nice little dig, a little patio, a little lanai. You guys are going to have a good time, trust me. I'm going to be making a little bit of racket down there, but you guys pay no mind. I got this. It is all windy as get out today. My mic is working. It's a little 50-50, so I don't really trust it too much yet, but it's working, people. And today, like I said, we're going to build them a little uh, little lean-to, a little shelter. I like to call it the lanai. Not long ago, I picked up a bunch of lumber that was uh, used for pallets and stuff like that. And that's what we're going to use today to build their little structure. And I got to get it out of the back of my truck. Because Miss Sunny Slope... <sighs> She wants a truck back. It's good to know those uh, goats are using their house. What's up? Oh, I should have backed this thing up. I should have backed it on up. Well, first things first is I got to get our measurements. Hey, what's going on, girl? Hey, what's going on, girl? You getting used to your new home? Huh? You getting used to a new home? <laughs> Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh, no. It kind of takes the day for them to warm up to us. But, yep, we got to get our measurements for this. Ah. I forgot my tape measure. I'm prepared now. All right, so we're looking at roughly... Uh, let's do four feet. Four feet across. And four feet high. All right, let's do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build, take those measurements and I'm going to build a frame around that pallet and then that will keep them off the ground and give them a little bit of a patio. So if it's rainy and nasty, they're not sitting on a wet, nasty, cold hay. We're gonna build it up, kind of like an angle, make a little lean-to. I separated these boards out, got the, pick the ones that didn't have uh, pallet staples in them, because I one, I don't feel like messing with it, two, I'm not gonna put that in the goat enclosure, and I don't wanna be pulling all these staples out just to use the boards. I will if I have to, but, we are going to ratchet strap their uh, goat house to this structure. That's going to give it some stability. And it'll give them a little bit of comfort because uh, we're in for some nasty weather. So let's get to it. And another thing. With this wind, you guys are going inside the truck. We're taking no chances of you guys blowing over and breaking my brand new camera before the big meetup. camera got a little cover in sawdust on that one so you may stay back a little bit
probably giving you carpenters out there some anxiety, but I ain't no carpenter. This is a good old boy method. Cut and screw it together. Well, I thought I was gonna shingle them up, but I, these boards are just too thick. They're too thick, son. So, and then it dawned on me. They got a 100% waterproof almost goat shelter. This is just the patio. So, I'm just gonna line them up. It might not be perfect, but it's gonna get them by. All right. If you're asking why they're uneven, it's because I want it to look like a hillbilly goat house. I don't want it to be perfect. Perfect's boring, people. I want this thing to look rough, cut, and just natural. Made from the finest oak and mahoganies. What I like best about this project is it's more wood that I reclaimed that somebody else was throwing out. So, and look, I get to build another project out of it. And uh, serve another purpose, it's gonna live another day has more purpose besides I like this rough cut looking stuff I don't know what kind of wood this is I think there's a little bit of oak pine all kinds of stuff in here but hey man it's free And that's the sound that a Phillip tips makes when you don't use the right size, people. <laughs> that's what I got. Picked up this little mineral feeder bucket. We'll get this uh we'll get this put on right now. I'm cutting some of these small boards down to put in those slats so the little goat feet don't get stuck in there. I'm sure they'd be fine leaving a couple open, but I kind of want to just take care of them. She's done. She's done, folks. So we got to get this over there using this. I really wish I had uh, the fork attachments, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, this ought to be fun.
they got themselves their own little goat shack. I have to say I did pretty good. Maybe not as good as those third grade elementary schoolers in Hamburg, but I tried. Oh, it seems like they like it. <laughs> oh, oh, what do you think, Mama? Do you approve? Is it good enough for your babies? Hey, I try, all right? Do you guys need a rooster? You guys need a rooster in here to keep you company? I think they need a rooster. I wanted to put a cover on this, but I had a, uh, I had a subscriber, I had a viewer tell me that those holes are too big for goats and they're gonna waste a lot of feed. Uh, I think he's right. And I think we might put some cattle panel in there, but not right now. And I kind of gave them a little bit of something to play on. And the minute I put that stuff down, guys, they were jumping all over it. Of course, they're not doing it now that I have the camera out. But what, I, what can I say? Meh. Do you approve, Mama? Not on camera. Mama, this is a family show. This is a family show. I'll pod, I apologize, folks. I, I extremely apologize. Are you done? Okay. So, I think they need new names. Uh, really? Really? They need some names. We don't know what to name them. I know my daughter's going to think of something, but she is really excited about these goats now she wanted to even take care of them but she's just too too young right now she's gonna help out but she's too young right now to put all that responsibility on her right this instant uh, we have to remind her to give the dog water so <laughs> you guys like it you like your new digs huh you like your new digs Well, that's it for this episode. So, hey, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, and it really helps us out. So, I think I'm going to let them be. I got some stuff in the house I got to get done, and I think they approve. And I think they're going to be ready for the warm, or I think they're going to be ready for the cold weather that we have ahead. So, all right, guys, I'll see you later.